national convention is less than two weeks away, but CNN is reporting that Donald Trump could announce his vice presidential pick in the next few days. Bob Corker's name has been and still is on Mr. Trump's short list. Corker is campaigning with Trump tonight in Raleigh, North Carolina. It's the first time we've seen the two together publicly. Ever since Bob Corker met with Donald Trump at the Trump Tower in Manhattan a month and a half ago, he's been downplaying the suggestion that he's one of Trump's VP choices. I have no reason whatsoever uh, to believe that I'm being considered for a position like that. CNN quotes a senior Trump advisor who says Corker is on the short list. That also includes New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, former House Speaker Newt Gingrich of Georgia, Alabama Senator Jeff Sessions, Indiana Governor Mike Pence, and Iowa Senator Joni Ernst. But Robin Smith, the past Hamilton County and Tennessee Republican Party chairperson, says Corker and Trump make the best ticket. Here we have two gentlemen that are self-made men. They have been successful in the business community. They do listen, for the most part, to their, their constituents. And I would say that they bring their own successes to the table. Corker serves on the Senate Banking Committee and the Senate Budget Committee. He also chairs the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. Smith says those are two areas of expertise that could help in a Trump White House that Corker talked about in a News Channel 9 interview several weeks Ago. How we're going to deal with this huge indebtedness that we have as, as a nation? How we're going to deal with the economic issues that so many people are facing in our nation? How we're going to relate with the rest of the world? The thing about Bob Corker, he's more like a Leatherman tool rather than a pocket knife. He brings many other tools to the table in this discussion of presidential politics because of his background in business, background in banking, financing, uh, world affairs. So who's it going to be? Even Trump's former campaign manager says nobody knows who has the inside track. Well, I think the vice presidential selection is going to come down to one person's comfort level, and that's going to be Donald Trump.